number 10, I'm going to make a quick observation here, just something that I can remember and I want to delve into more. And maybe if someone comes across this, they can actually give me even more insight because I'm pretty new to the YouTube algorithms. I'm very good with algorithms. I work with search engine optimization. So I'm very familiar with Google and how things are ranked and how ranking factors work, how things are indexed. And I understand uh, pretty well how YouTube works as well. I just don't have a lot of practice in the field. So I haven't seen things that are like little things that I can observe and then tie back to ranking factors and suggestion factors. Um, so I'm, I'm observing all of that now. One thing that I noticed is that on my channel, now I only have 10 subscribers and most of these are from a long time ago and they're not even people who are keeping up with me right now. Uh, these are just kind of like, this is a really old channel. So they're like legacy subscribers. It's basically a channel that has no subscribers. I've been titling my uh, post just something where I can remember what I talked about. Nothing special, right? But notice that all of these that are screen recordings have like one view, two views, three views, something like that. Let's see, yeah, you know, two views, no views, two views, two, 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 three. But then I made this one where I was testing my camera and it was a, a you know, I had my mirrorless camera up here on my desk and I edited that down in Premiere, I only like made one cut or something like that. It was just a really simple video where I was testing. Um, but notice that one has seven views, which is weird because these aren't like seven views that are coming from people who are following me or people that I shared it with. It's just random. And it has two likes. So weird to me. I don't understand where that's coming from. Um, I do interact a little bit on YouTube. So maybe some people are kind of like looking at my comment and clicking back to my channel. But interesting that this video got three times as much attraction as these others. And the only real difference is that it was shot on a different camera uh, and that the thumbnail looks different. My assumption here, it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to test this. Obviously, I shouldn't say assumption. I should say my hypothesis is that uh, for one, I feel like YouTube is probably looking at the type of video being used here. And these videos and like the one I'm recording now is a loom video. And I'm sure it looks at the meta and knows this is a screen recording type video, um, you know, and, and they know it's a webcam and I'm sure that's in, in the embed as well. Probably that it sees that it's a Logitech webcam, whatever. Um, I'm assuming it probably knows those things and it probably knows that those types of videos in general don't do very well. Um, you know, they can in tutorial spaces and things like that, but, I assume that probably has something to do with it. So one way I could test that hypothesis is that I could take some of these uh, screen recording videos. I could either I could either hook try. I don't have the cables to do it right now, but I could try hooking my other camera up and letting it record with Loom through that and test that as one option. I could test by. Um, trying to think what else I could do. I could take the Loom video, run it through Premiere, export it with, you know, different meta, upload that and see if that makes any difference. Um, I could obviously like this, I have to do this over several videos to kind of get an average because who knows why one might get a little more attention than others. But just I'm just thinking about how to test this hypothesis in general. Um, I could also try to emulate the vlog number six here. Um, by using the, mm, Loom won't do the full screen thing, but I could use a different software. I could use like OBS and just do a full screen with the webcam and see if that makes any difference. Um, but interestingly, it's just uh, random that this one got more views, but it's the only one that's different. So I want to see if I can somehow find what factors are contributing to that by doing a few tests with different types of recordings. So I'm going to be doing that here over the next couple of weeks as I'm still just uploading these basic videos. I'm going to experiment with whether that makes any impact on how many views they get. And it could all be human uh, perception. Like someone could click my channel and see all of this. And that's the one that's different. And they're like, oh, I don't want to watch a screen recording, but I do want to watch what he has to say here. He says testing some mics and cameras. Maybe I'm a beginner vlogger and I'm curious to what kind of camera he's using. It could be that as well. OK, so I know it's not completely um, algorithmic or necessarily algorithmic, but it's certainly worth making these um, 
these guesses and then finding ways to test. So I may try to do that over the next few days. I'll let you know what I find out.